What's up guys, Joel Valley here from Media Glitch and thank you so much again for joining in. We got another live pickups video. Well, it's not live to you because you're watching on YouTube, but if you were over on that other platform on Saturday nights where we stream, you would have uh, you would have been a part of this, but you know, hey, and even if you were a part of this, still leave a comment and leave a comment below. Let us know what pickups you got this week because we love reading those uh, because man it is crazy out there the prices are insane and so if you found some hidden some some great deals man we want to know about that or maybe you paid out your butt out of it out for for that let us know that as well because um you know we just love hearing about that so now we're gonna get to it i want to before we get into it i'm gonna uh let everyone introduce themselves and uh, i'm gonna you know one of the most radical person i know started off here all right, guys, Radical Reggie here, here to show you some cool stuff. That's beautiful. That's your answer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I thought I was supposed to, someone was supposed to take over from that point on, but did hey, you I, I was, but I'm just, I'm not the brightest sometimes. Hello, everyone. This is John from Intrigue Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> here to do some pickups with Media Glitch. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. And then... <laughs> Last but not least, we got the CAG, man. CAG, introduce yourself. Hey, what's everybody? I'm CAG, man. I am going to be doing some pretty awesome pickups today. I hope you guys enjoy them. Let us know what you guys picked up. I think I picked up some cool stuff this time, too. We're, we're making him go last, because last week he outshined <laughs> all of us. And we were all like, yeah, he's a hard act to follow. Um, <laughs> so we're going to start it off. Reggie, why don't you kick this bad boy off for us? All right. All right, so... um. I got a new Dreamcast game. Um, oh, nice. You know, it's like always a nice new game. old Dreamcast game or a new new Dreamcast game? Because I know they still That's make Dreamcast games. Well, it, made it, came out, it might have come out on PC, but this is, as far as I know, this is a new Dreamcast game, and I'm sticking to it. So this is the Intrepid Izzy um, for the Dreamcast. Hope nice. you guys can see that. This is a platform beat-em-up game, and very, oh, wow. very colorful. The graphics of this game look really amazing. It's very, like I said, it's very colorful, very bright. And shiny so it's easy on the eyes pretty much and this is like a like i said a platform beat em up game i haven't got that far in it yet but it's still really cool to see games being made like this on the yeah, Dreamcast. and I, I don't know if you guys can see on the, on the back here there's like a like a snow level here i'm trying to get it to focus and be hard to yeah, there it is I see it. and um it's just man just to pop in a new game for the dreamcast is just really amazing so i'm um, happy to have that in the collection um, I got this game of a recommendation from Joel. Um, this is Life is Strange, uh, True Colors. Uh, this is a uh, one of those point and click type games. Um, it, it's 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 really it's hard to describe it, but if you play games like The Walking Dead, it is like you know like you have to like kind of like do those choose your, choose certain actions, and and then there's consequences or or there's not later in the game. It's stuff like that, and the game starts off pretty zen and weird, like you know like all oh, like everybody's happy. But there's some mm -hmm. tragic events that happen in this game, and that's what I'm looking forward to. See how what happens, and see how your character deals with those situations. So, um, thanks, Joel, for the recommendation on this game. I appreciate you. And next game here. Okay, so the next game here is a game I think John will like a lot. This game was actually it's been in development. It was in development for like 10 years because the game got canceled. It was originally supposed to come out on the Xbox. Ended up coming out on the Wii. And this is the core game. Um, the last publisher to admit that, that obviously like put this out was um, Atari. They were the last people got their hands on it, so wow. they put it out. Um, it was never supposed to be released because, uh, uh, like I said, it went through a crazy development cycle. And pretty much, this is like a 3D platform game, kind of like reminiscent to games like uh, Mario 64. Not saying it is Mario 64, but you know that's the type of game it is. And I'm um, happy to have this in the collection. You know, I didn't know about this game until I saw it on one of Jason's videos uh, a few months back. And I said, yeah, that's something I might want to try out. So I love games that weren't really supposed to be, that come out, you know what I mean? Like this game was supposed to be like, like canceled pretty much, but <clears throat> somebody pushed it out and I'm happy about that. So the core game, if you play this game, let me know, only available on the Wii. Nice. Sounds interesting. Nice. Okay. And um, I hopefully I don't get too much flack for this game, but you know, uh, everybody knows that I'm a big Sonic fan, and I played this game on the Wii, but I had to get the Ultimate Edition. Sonic Colors Ultimate Edition for the PS4. Um, nice. Me and Cag talked about this, I think, and this game actually went on sale 
it was it was yeah. originally thirty nine dollars. It went on sale for thirty three dollars because um, I'm not really sure why, but I'm not going to complain. It comes with this ugly Sonic figure in there. It kind of reminds me of the movie Sonic in a way. The, the first version of the movie. Yeah, oh, exactly. like the one that they yeah, had yeah. to redo because all the pushback. Yeah, yeah, like human teeth and everything. I was like, oh, yeah, ugh, that geez. was weird. But, um, thankfully, they don't have a skin like that in this game, so definitely um, play for it. <laughs> And colorful. I wish they would have a skin that you could play as the original, like, like ugly, the, ugly, the, Sonic, ugly, Sonic, ugly Sonic, like the one the intern made that got fired or whatever happened. I know, right? You know what? They probably put all of those in there because they had an overabundance made for that movie. Mm. <laughs> yeah, probably. You might be right, Ken. That's that's actually a good explanation. So that's probably true. But a Sonic Colors takes the best elements out of a lot of the 3D Sonic games and puts it all into one. So it's definitely very fun. It, it goes from 3D to 2D. So during the level, so there's a lot of action going on. But definitely something for you guys to check out. All right. Yeah. Nice. That's four games for me. All right. Uh, you're very up, nice. John. All right. So I got a couple games. I'll unbox one if you guys want to see that. I'll break the seal, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, we'll do rapid fire. And I got a couple other things I'm going to share real quick because I got it today and I was so excited to get it. And then I figured out they're worthless, but they're so cool. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I got a Sonic game, Reggie. It wasn't the one that you have because I'm more into like the retro style one. Nope. So I got Sonic Mania on the PS4. Yes. Man, these yes. are in value bins all over the place. So I didn't pay very much for this game at all. I played it on the um, Switch already. And it was a free game on the PlayStation Network um, about six months ago. Mm -hmm. Someone had already picked up the physical on the cheap, but this is like, this is where it's at, man. If you love old school Sonic, like Sonic CD or Sonic on the Genesis 1, 2, or 3, this is your game. It's so much fun. And there's actually a multiplayer mode, up to four people. Yep. You got four yeah. friends, yeah. but you got to unlock it first. I don't uh, think I, I knew up that. This, yeah, I picked oh. this game up. Uh, the rest of these games are pretty much common, or not common, but in the same genre, I believe. But Darius vs. X Plus for the PS4. Nice. Um, this is an amazing port of an arcade game mm -hmm. from Japan. Um, they do have a what's called the Cosmic Revelation version that you can get from Play Asia, and it includes this game and the new one that's coming out here next month, or this month now, Darius HD. So that's the cheapest way to get it, is to get the Play Asia version that has both. But I wanted the American copy also because I love this series, Darius vs. I love it so much that I finally found this game on the cheap for a system that it's not retro, but it feels retro. It just wasn't loved as much as anything else for some reason. But on the Vita, I got Darius oh, yeah. vs. Chronicle Saviors. Yes. Finally, man, I've been looking for this for a decent price, not paying this scalping money. I ain't paying $80 for a Vita game, but I did pay about half of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy to get it and which is what I mean is that that's, that's probably job. retail right when it came out yeah it's probably $40 retail it, it was a limited run game yeah it was a limited run published game it never got a full retail in, uh, in the states it may I believe uh, Japan may have got a full retail release and then that last but not least we're up to 60 people right now wow oh Perfect. wow that's 61 cool. thank you everyone hit that follow button we see you. We're it. actually recording a video right now. If you're new to the channel, this goes on the YouTube channel. Sorry, John. Continue. You're fine, man. Got to explain things. John, go ahead. John's John. here with the pickups. Show me what you got. <laughs> I'm going to talk like that all the time. Oh, wow. do, do it, John. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you going to unbox something, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to unbox something. I got it right here. You want to see it? It's a limited run game. I, uh -oh. I sort of forgot what's in it, but I got this in the mail the other day. I'm going to realize it real fast. So I'll just unbox it. I got my knife right here. Well, bam. I'm Yo. dangerous with knives. You better watch out, Joe. I'll catch you, I'll catch you Joe. You keep making fun of me. I believe you, man. Yeah. Oh. All right. Here we go. Oh. That's the fastest unboxing ever. Boom. You like hey, that? what is that? You don't see. Just wait. Be patient. Yeah, I got a poster. Hold on. I think I swear it's the same poster every time. Except for it's like their new releases they got coming. Which is sort of cool. I got the limited run card, of course. You always get that. Dumb. You'll know what game it is if you've played it before from this card. Man, it's so glossy. It's hard to get it. That's dope. 
artwork. I don't know if I know protected. that. I need to see that card again. You don't see it again? Alright, I'll be slow this time. I'm gonna try to get it to focus. It's not one of the focus, but it's this crazy, like, alien demon. Mm. Wow. Scary, man. It was scary. Well, here's the game. It's the cover art for this game. Uh, oh, that's man. why I've never played it. Oh, wow. I was saying Curse of the Moon 2. The, yeah. um, it, it looks like it's like the same size as the NES box. It's like, yeah. So I had the first edition of this. I got it game on 2019. Is that the same size? Same size and everything as a huh. um, NES box. It looks a little we'll open it. I'm not getting this water sealed, graded, whatever. You just, you just, man, you messed up. Yeah, I just ruined the value on this for sure, the resale market. Yeah, I'm super horrible. <laughs> but we gotta see what's coming in and make sure we got all the stuff they promised to give us. What if I never opened it and they never gave me what they were supposed to give me? I wanna, see, I wanna see that up against the many ass box. It looks like it's armor. Dude, I'll grab one here in a second. So it actually has a sleeve on it. So here's like, you know, light is bright, huh? Yeah. But there, that is like just straight up NES style box. Yeah, that looks good. Abby said she uh, kept her like crack uh, sealed like a real gamer. Oh darn it, Abby! I got a I got a protector. It comes in. Oh, that's, actual, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, the actual Switch game. Almost glued in there. It feels heavy. I believe there's a manual or something in there also. Poster for the game. Yeah, this one's gonna look sweet. I need to get these framed because they look really good. We're about like a reprint of them. So I, so I won't mess up my original. So here's the cover art and all its glory. Okay, so cool. Yeah. And then it's got something on the back too. Let's see that. It does. Oh, it, it does has a manual me. and artwork on the inside. Let's see if it's, it's how many pages it is. If it's a large man. Thick stock paper. It's small, it's it hard to hold. But yeah, it's got about 20, 15, 20, 15 pages, but it has the information for each character, which is really cool. So I'm super excited to get that. I had the first one I got the game on because I bought it after it was sold out. But at cons, you can usually find the ones that they don't sell on the internet anymore. They'll keep a, a certain amount of stock. So I'm super excited. Castle, not Castlevania, <laughs> Bloods. Bloodstained, Curse thing. of the Moon, too. It's basically a Castlevania yeah. game. Added yeah. to my collection, my Switch collection. It's more of a Castlevania game than new Castlevania games are. So, And that's my gaming pickups. But today I was at the, the Salvation Army. And I just hold on, hold on, John. I'm getting some feedback or something from somebody. Is that off of your phone, Reggie? I don't think so. Yeah, I was hearing it, too. That was weird. Hey, Iron Fox. Thank you for the cheers. You hear that? Yeah. Oh, it might be Reggie just getting alerts and his bu the phone's buzzing. No, no, no. It yeah. sounds like someone's talking. It's All right. Is that it, John? That was it for my pickups. What okay. do you got for us, Joel? I don't have very many. <clears throat> um, but. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So my first one is people really hate this game. For some odd reason, the reviews were horrible. What? It's very, it is, it's very repetitive. But I put it on at night to relax me, and I, it just makes me chill. And then I fall asleep. I get, you know, I start to get drowsy. I actually kind of, I kind of uh, dig it. Um, it's uh, One Punch Man, and uh, I, you know, and I don't, I, I have never uh, watched the, the anime, so I don't know if they messed it all up, but. Um, it's just fun. It was like, it was on uh, sale at GameStop the other day, so I think I got it for, um, you know, after that five dollar thing they give you every month. I think it was only like four bucks or something like that. So. Oh wow, that game dropped that much in price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I believe they're gonna cut cut off online in February. It's Already, from, wow. The rumor, so that's that's that. So, and the other day I went to Houston, <clears throat> and. Uh, just uh, went to a store and I found this for pretty cheap. I think it was only, it was under $10. I was like, I don't have this one in my collection yet. 
it was pretty nice condition manuals there everything's there and so i bought uh star ocean the last hope oh cool yeah oh, i got that one on the ps3 is that one that they they may redid that one for the ps4 they did a couple they so moving on um a while back our good friend radical yeah. reggie went over to sarumaru's house in las vegas they went game shopping. They hung out. They had a stream. And on that stream, Elvis Roa said, Joel, check this out. He picked up some random game because he knows I love East. And he showed me an East game I had never seen before. And so once I saw it, I was like, I got to have this, this East game. And so this is the East Collection. Now, all that I have here is the box with, this is how it came when you bought it. Just like that. And it comes with uh, East 3, comes from with Wanders, comes with a books, some books, right? And uh, the idea is that you would buy the remainder games, one, one and two, four and five and put them in here as a collection now if you don't know five goes for about 500 bucks so what? this may be the way it stays <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we blame you because i just don't have that kind of kind of money um but even if i have this this is brand new it's it's beautiful uh, this is what i wanted you know uh, maybe eventually I'll get the the rest of those uh, those Japanese ones, but I got this for a stupid good price. I had to pick it up, and I'm just you know I love Ease. You all know Ease, even though Tales of Arise, which is another pickup I I got this week. Uh oh, my PS5 is gonna shut off. Hold on, I don't want to do that because we're still in game. Um. That new Tales of Arise is pretty off. Oh crap, is that playing? Alright, I think it's quiet now. Sorry. But Ease is still my number one love of my life. So, got that. Pretty happy about it. Um, uh, so, the next pickup is not a game. That, that's it for my games. But I did buy... I had to get this. That just came out. This is a hardcover uh, manga of... Fist of the North Star. That's beautiful cover. Oh man, and it's just, if you guys don't know, Fist of the North Star is my favorite anime. And this thing is beautiful. And so, and the second one comes out later this month. I pre-ordered them already. And so, they'll just show up at my house as they come out. So, pretty happy with this. And then, this is a, a one of a kind thing that I got. You're not going to find this anywhere. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I got to thank my boy James Brown who got me this thing. Is that really his name? That's really his name. Uh, what? And when you see it Oh my goodness. Right, are you guys ready for this? Yeah, I want to see it. Cag, you, you ready for this? Up? You might yeah. need keg this week. Is that oh, what you're yeah. saying, Joel? Is that what you're saying? Do you, you're see, do you see something? What do you think that is right there at the bottom of my screen? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Look at this. I need to put light on this bad boy. Hold on. What is that? It's a figurine of... Can you see it? An octopus. Is that Goro? Oh, it's Goro. It is. It is Goro. 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 Let me see if I can get some light on there for you guys. Oh, that's dope. Is he Dude. like all like, like? He's got a head in his hand. He just ripped somebody's head off. Is he all Sick. black? Is that? Yeah. Is that one of the ones that you can uh, you can color paint yourself? Yep. Oh, yeah, you should get board gamer and look at paint and so he does those things. This is what he stands on. Yeah, that was sweet. Let me see if 
Let me let me see something. Hold on, hold on. This might help. Yeah, you like. Know, man, I'm scared to get in the figures because then I'll just get stupid with them, and then I won't, I already yeah. don't have enough room. They're man, that does look and cool. They take up too much space. Yeah. I don't, let me see if this helps. There, yeah, yeah, it does. I just don't yeah, have good those lighting. Those are here. awesome, man. Yeah, you should. Um, War Gamer Girl does those painting streams. You should oh yeah, she's, she's paint it. I'm you. gonna pay her to paint this bad boy for me. Wow. That's that's dope, man. Uh oh, what I get a sub? Yes, sir. Somebody follow. Someone's following. Thank you for the follow. I can't read it. <laughs> it kind of came. The chat's kind of messed up because we're recording a live video right now. But thank you so much. So I'm pretty. I love this thing right here, man. It's gonna be awesome when it's all painted and ready to go. So. Yes. Hit that follow button. And I, I'm not going to be able to outdo Joel. That Goro statue is... I'm, I'm a statue guy. As everybody <laughs> knows, I have tons of statues. I love stuff like that. I just eat it up. And that just blew my mind when I saw <laughs> that, Joel. So, uh, <laughs> I, that thing is awesome. All right. So, uh, we'll start off with uh, a couple of games I picked up. I picked up... Uh, <laughs> Tormented Souls oh, for I wanted, the PS5. I went to go buy it and they were gone. Yeah, game's done. Yeah. This, this, uh, it was hard to get this game. Amazon didn't ship this game out to me until like a week after it like came out for some reason. I don't know what was up with that. So that was kind of, that kind of sucked. And then, uh, I picked this up today actually and I, I don't know what it is, but it's called Foreclosed on PS5. Um, I got it for twenty bucks. It's a great deal, and I really want to be. I really want to play this. So, um, you if you guys know what this banker. is, play as a banker. Yeah, in foreclosed houses. <laughs> That's a weird name. <laughs> it's it's a the it's game. The back is like cell shaded art uh, yeah. inside the game, so it looks really good. So I can't wait to play that. Um, I also bought this one here. This uh, I got for five dollars at Best Buy. I've never played it, but it looks pretty fun. So if you guys ever played that, let me know. Never even heard of that. It's five one. bucks. Ari. It's still five. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, array and the secrets of seasons. It's still five bucks at Best Buy. So I mean, it can't be five dollars for that. Uh, it game, looks like know. a five dollar game. Yeah. <laughs> There's a newer game coming out, and it's sort of that same art style, but it looks really good. Um, what are you gonna say, was. Reggie? I'm um, back. The computer's back on. Oh, nice. So, Sorry about the whole hiccup thing. No, nah, you're good, Reggie. Now, this really made me happy. Um, I'm a huge Game Gear collector, so to get these two games uh, made me super happy for a couple reasons. So the first one is Tailspin. Oh, I didn't even know they made that on Game Gear. Yeah, yes. I love this. I love the Genesis version. That was one of the few games I had as a kid was Tailspin. I, I got this game, game for three dollars, three bucks, man. Super happy. And then the other one, which is is crazy, the incredible Crash Dummies on Game Gear. <laughs> now, reason I'm super happy about getting these two, these two put me 33 games away from a complete Game Gear collection. Oh, wow. I only got 33 games left, man. So that was super happy. And this uh, Crash Dummies was really hard to find. Like, nobody ever had this game in stock, so I'm super happy about getting that. So, 33 games away from a full Game Gear collection. Um, now, this right here, this is a collector's edition. That's pretty awesome. And uh, if you guys want to see what's in the inside, just let me know. I'll show you the statue real quick. But this is Kingdoms Kingdoms of Amalar. Oh, yeah. The collector's edition. Nice. That art, that art man. It's the so re-release, though, right? That's not like... Yeah, like this is uh, the re 360 one, right? No, yeah, this is on uh, Xbox One. This is Kingdoms of Avalon Re-Reckoning, the Collector's Edition. And inside, I'm going to show you, this statue is boss. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. 
That statue is absolutely amazing, man. Deadly. Can't beat that. So definitely happy to be able to get that. And then I got a couple more, and then I'm done. Nothing too serious. Um, Reggie already showed his uh, his um, Sonic Colors Ultimate. I got that also on Xbox. <laughs> and then um, I also picked this up from Best Buy. This is also $5. I never played it. This is a uh, World of Final Fantasy Maxima. The PS4 right. version wasn't five bucks though. Huh? I saw that go up. No. And I was like, oh, I'll grab the, the PS4, but it was only Xbox ones they were selling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the PS4 I think was like nine ninety nine or something like that. I couldn't um, even when find they were it. available. Okay, do we know the difference between the both of the versions? I think the uh, Xbox is like a director's cut. Which one? Oh, the. Uh, <laughs> The ultimate? Nope. It's uh, it's just uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate. It includes that same crazy. No, no. I was talking about Final Fantasy, the one you just showed. Oh. Um. No, it doesn't say anything about director's cut or anything. <laughs> okay. I don't. That's what that, well, I'm that gonna try Maxima, this out. Right. So that's. Yep, Maxima. Yeah, there's something there. I can't remember what it is though. Yeah, I want to try it out, man. I never played it, and uh, I heard it was pretty good, so I'm going to definitely play that. And then uh, the last uh, two games, one of them no one's probably going to care about, but <laughs> uh, first one is Creed. Uh, you guys might have heard me talk about this game. You heard told um, me it was booty. If it's, not, if, it's not below t if it's not below $20, don't buy it. <laughs> uh it's it's not that good at all. Man, I'll wait on that one. I was almost I was ready to buy that one when it came out, but I'll wait with Keg's advice. Yeah, dude, it's it's uh it's it's pretty bad, man. It's pretty bad. And then the last one was uh NBA two K. This is the uh legendary edition and that's it. Nice. Big basketball fan. So that's all my uh pickups so far. Well, that's this week's pickups video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to each. Every one of these guys have great channels that have great content. Some of us don't upload as often as we should. I'm talking about me and John. <laughs> but, uh, you know, CAG and Reggie are holding it down, regularly putting up videos. And so make sure you uh, go check out all those guys and let us know again in the chat what uh, games you picked up this week. Thank you so much for your guys' support. And again, go follow us over if you want to be a part of these streams. You know where to find us on this com on the competitive side of the channel where everyone streams at. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Shaolin Shadow Boxing and the Wu-Tang Sword Style. If what you say is true, the Shaolin and the Wu-Tang could be dangerous. Do you think your Wu-Tang sword can defeat me?